Do you hate sales? Relax, you're in the right place. Sales are the lifeblood of your business. No sales, no money. But it's more than just that. If you don't make any sales, you don't get to help people. You don't get to feel like you're making a difference and you don't get to feel a sense of achievement in your business because you just don't get to share your stuff with people. So, no sales, no money, a lot of worrying, a lot of hard work, and not much to show for it. Isn't it time you face the music and attack this problem once and for all? Here's the thing. If you keep hating sales, you'll always feel like you're on a diet. Your commitment and determination to stick to your program will see you through a couple of weeks, maybe even months if you're really tough, but eventually you're going to cave. This is really common, by the way. There are more women in business who hate sales than the other way around. And this is how it usually plays out. I call it the sales roller coaster. So when business is at a low, you gather all your determination and courage and you pick up the phone, make some calls, do some advertising or run an event. And you get yourself a couple of clients. Yes. But because you really hate sales, you'll celebrate your new clients and forget all about making more sales. And more importantly, you'll stop doing anything about it. So your sales will crash again, and so will your income. Think about this. What if you loved sales? But before we take a glimpse into the crystal ball and look at your future, when you love sales and your income is soaring, allow me to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Simone Outeridge. I come from a high level corporate sales role where I was responsible for a $40 million budget. When it came to selling for someone else, it was easy. But when it came to selling myself, all I wanted to do was hide. I was really just waiting for people to come to me. I wanted a calendar filled with appointments of people dying to work with me, but I didn't want to sell. Well, guess what? People weren't queuing up to work with me just by me wishing for them to do so, no matter how hard I wished. The great thing is, when you work on improving your sales, you'll make more money. And when you make more money, you can stop lying awake at bed, in bed at night, worrying about how you're going to pay the bills, worrying about how you're going to keep going in your business when you're just not getting the results you need. Close your eyes for a moment and think about all the ways your life will improve just by improving this one aspect of your business. How you'll have a steady flow of income, how your confidence will soar, the holidays you can take your family on. You'll even be able to say to him, honey, I've booked us a holiday and I've paid for it. Now how good would that feel? I know the impact it can have on your life and your business to not just tackle this problem, but sort it out once and for all. Don't let another year go by where you miss your financial targets, struggle to pay your bills, and feel even further from your dream of financial freedom. Kick your hatred of sales to the curb. Come along on the crusade and join the tribe of women running wildly profitable businesses, making a profound impact on the world. Simply enter your details in the box and I will show you how to crack the secret code of sales.